In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add white lines or lines in our tooltip here. As you can see here, we have this line here, but after that we have these kind of strings here, and these string values, we want to put them, each of them, on a separate line. So as you can see here, so this looks very, very nice and extends the entire tooltip itself. So let's start to look how we can, how we can do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to add multiple lines in the tooltip in Chart.js. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to add more information in the tooltips in Chart.js. So if we scroll down here, you can see this question came from Mauro Daniel Meza Zamora, and there has been already a communication. And but you can see here the question came here, and, and this is what he says basically. Thank you, by the way. If I want to duplicate more than three lines on the bottom of the footer in, of the tooltips, how will I do that? And is it possible to put the full, the sorry, the, the tooltip code under the options of gradient gradient bar configuration sentence? Well, in this case, sorry, I'm not able to understand what you're referring to here. Well, I don't know what you want to give it a gradient color. Is it the the background of the tooltip or something else? However, I will skip that. I will focus on this specific item here. So let's start and look how we can do this. So the first thing what we want to do here is go to chartjs3.com, getting started, and here get the default code. So I'm going to grab this entire chunk of code, copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here, which is slightly blurred for now, but that's all right. Paste that in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this and just put that in there. And once I did that, save this, refresh. All right. So now we have our bar chart here. So what I want to do now is basically go into the footer functionality. And then here in the options, we're going to put in here, enter. We're going to say here, plugins. And then we're going to say here, tooltip. Because we're going to pinpoint the tooltip and to make sure Make sure you have a comma here or else you get an error later on. And then what we want to do here is to create a callback. And this callback will consist of values where you want to put in the lines for the footer. So we're going to say here, callbacks. And with the callbacks here, we can start to put in here the location. So I was not sure, because you say you want to put it in the footer or after the footer. So there is a footer and there's also another one is called the after footer. So it's one or the other. You can just check which one is appropriate for you. But if you don't have a footer, it would make sense to put it in the footer. But if you have a footer, but you want to put it in the after footer or after that, then you can do the after footer. So we're going to say here, context. And in the context here, because this is a callback, we want to use here the arrow function or arrow expression function like this. So we don't have to type in function, we just have like this. Then curly braces here. And then in here, what we can do is a constant. And this constant is a very straightforward. Well, in your case, you wanna create three lines. To create three lines, what we need to do is we need to make an array. So I'm going to say here, let's say a array values or array lines, I don't know, I'm just making it up. And then in here, we're going to say here line one. And then we have another one is line number two. And finally, line number three. So we have this like that. And then all I want to do here is to say return. And return here is the arrays or the array lines. And that's basically it. So if I save this, refresh, now you can see here we have now three new items in here. So what really happens is once you have an array, it will loop through the array here. Basically, every line will loop through in here as a separate white space or new line and that's exactly what it's done so if for example you say well uh, i will you are planning to do it in the after footer because you have a footer had something already well in that case of course here after footer exactly the same methodology we can just copy this basically and then i'll just put an enter here and then instead of this put it there all right so then if i save this Refresh, we should have now here double lines. All right, or what I want to do here, I'll just make this a string equal, just delete this, save that, refresh, and now you can see here, there we are. So we have the footer line here, and then after footer, we'll have these 
the extra lines there and that's basically how you can play around with your footer so if you like this video you want to dive deeper into the footer i highly recommend you to watch this specific video here about how to add more information in the tooltips in charge that covers every option there is for the tooltips